Yes, I couldn't see that screen. Okay, shall we start now? We can see that in the pale window now? Yes, sir. Okay, ah, sir. yeah. Ah, okay, now we'll start now. Okay. The today topic is operator precedence parsing. Right now we are having now the, in the uh, part of parsing we are having that another parsing technique is operator precedence parsing. Right, the type of parsing is operator precedence parse. Sorry. Operator precedence parsing. We are going to see that one. Right. Okay. Now we consider that grammar as here you'll see that one e derives e plus e e derives e star e and e derives open bracket e close bracket and then we are having now e derives id we'll consider it's a grammar for an expression these are all the production rules one two three Four. If you are having doubts, you can ask, right? One, two, three, four, right? So this is we are having now that grammar for expression. Actually, I told you that one. This grammar is called ambiguous grammar. Why this is ambiguous grammar is right? This is ambiguous grammar when for a valid string. More than one parse tree. More than one parse tree. Then the grammar is called ambiguous grammar. Then G is called ambiguous grammar. Ambiguous grammar. Right now, here this the simple example you are having now. I told you that one ID plus ID star ID. So, for this particular valid string, we are having two parts so, using that production rules. We are having the start with that E, then we can use that first. You can use E, e derives E plus E, and then we can use that one as uh, E derives E star E for this E. And then we are having for this E ID, this is ID, this is ID, this is one part string. Similarly, we can generate the same string with another part string is here. So this is we are having now, first we are using that E star E, then for this E we are using now E plus E. Then we can have now this is ID, this is ID, this is ID, right? Now you see this one, we are generating same string right so this is id plus id so you have to collect the leaves from left to right star and id similarly here also we are having now id plus id star id okay so we are having now for the valid string we are having now two parts the parts three one and parts three two so we are having more than one parse tree, then the grammar is called ambiguous grammar. So this is ambiguous grammar. Ambiguous grammar, right? Now we can have an equivalent grammar to eliminate ambiguous. You can get unambiguous grammar. So for that unambiguous, now we here this E is called the expression. Now we are having, we are using two or three more variables we are going to introduce that the expression term and factors, term and factors, right? So the expression can have that operator plus star and open bracket, close bracket. Here we are having now the term, we are having now star and open bracket, close bracket. Factor is having only the open bracket, close bracket. Like you have to introduce three more 
variable e so e derives e plus t then we are having now that e derives t and t derives t star f t derives t star f and d derives f and then f uh, f derives open bracket e close bracket f derives id now this is grammar g dash both are equivalent so equivalent is we are having all right so g equivalent to g dash what do you mean by the equivalent whatever string generated by this grammar the same string can be generated by that grammar but we are having only one possible for c for if ambiguous grammar one for any valid string any valid string only one parse tree now for the same string right i told you that one for the same string can be generated by this grammar also so now you see that one e derives e plus t now we are having t the uh, here this is for e t f and id this is we are having now t star f right then we are having for the t we are having f for the f we are having id so here also we are having id so this is the string we are uh, uh, this is a parse tree for the same string there is no another parse tree for this particular string id plus id star id we are having now the parse tree so we call it as this is a unambiguous grammar so we can produce only for this grammar right so we can for the string we can generate only one parse tree so it is called unambiguous grammar unambiguous grammar grammar right unambiguous grammar clear till now rangarajan yes sir yeah, clear sir Ah, yeah, I say that one. Oh, right. Now you concentrate on only the unambiguous grammar. You forgot about that previous grammar. Now you have to only concentrate on unambiguous grammar so the unambiguous grammar is e derives e plus t e derives t and t derives t star f t derives f and f derives open bracket e close bracket and f derives id okay in that operator presence parsing Right. In the operator presence parsing, we have to do only the operator grammar. What do you mean by that operator grammar is, right? The one point is there is no epsilon production. There is no epsilon production. And the right hand side side of any production rule right hand side of any production rule should not have have should not have Two consecutive non-terminal. Consecutive non-terminal. Two consecutive non-terminals, right? So that is, we should not have that one A derives PC. This is not possible. So this production rule is not 
valid for the operator grammar so here we need to have in between that any two non terminal we should have some operator p or c or p plus c or p r c r symbol is either r or we can have no p plus c or we can have no p r c like we should have operator in between two consecutive non terminal then the grammar is called operator grammar Thomas question they may ask what is operator grammar right for that operator grammar only that operator presence passing is possible right now you see uh, the our grammar our grammar is operator grammar so here this is one non terminal in between we are having terminal and non terminal here also we are having a non terminal in between terminal not right there is no like that t derives tf this is not possible right so you should avoid that all, right so that is if you are having this production rule then grammar is not operator grammar for that we are in that operator uh, present parsing is not valid right so we will have that operator grammar the for that operator grammar we can have now operator presence parsing well, let's say that one right now here how do you do that one we'll, we'll see first what actually we have to do is we have to consider the grammar in of and the f there is open bracket e close bracket and the f there is id so these are all the production rule right now in that one what we are going to see that one uh in that operator presence parsing the same subtract is parsing so here we are having now the stack uh input and then we are having output in the subtract is parsing in, in action sorry output is not output action stack input action right in the stack input action here what actually we did now that one the dollar here we are having the string if suppose this is id plus id star id then we are having a dollar what actually we are doing now that we are doing the shift reduce parsing action right in that case manually you are doing now which one is shifted and what is to be reduced that is by manually we have to understand now right now here in that operator process parsing we are producing a relation in between top of the stack symbol and the front of the input uh, string you are finding the relation where we can have a relation between top of the stack and for example the top of the stack is dollar the between dollar and id we are having some relation as less than relation if we are having less than or equal relation we have to do shift action so if you know this uh, label or this relation then whether you want to shift or we can do that reduce action we can see right if we are having the greater than symbol you have to do that reduce action until the previous less than so in between we are having a handle so automatically it will find out the handle now sir, you are uh, using the ah yes sir we draw Tell that uh, we draw that plus star that matrix just to find out the symbols which go in between this middle column sir so that yeah yeah know, here which one we later we'll do that matrix right that is to find out which symbols go and where we have to shift and where we have to reduce ah yeah yeah now just i am telling now we are going to see the relation now right so this relation is there so we are going to see what are the relations we have to find out that all terminals right so that is we are going to do now right so what's the purpose of that relation we have want to have that one i will tell now after that we will show we will show that one right clear any other doubts uh, no sir Ah, yeah now we are going to see the relation between that uh, each terminals right so now you see that one here we are having a terminal list id right or otherwise we'll see that first plus star id open bracket close bracket and then you have to add one more symbol dollar now in that row wise you have to put now and column wise also we have to put the same all terminals id open bracket 
close bracket including tar right now we are going to produce the relation between these two terminals right then we are having now this is f of this is g of right the row is f of the column is g of now we are going to find out what's the relation between the f of and g of so f of may be this operator then what is the relation between this plus and that plus we are going to see that one now we have to construct a table first this is called precedence table We are going to construct the precedence table. Okay. Nagarajan, can you see the table now? Yes, sir. Okay, you can see that. We'll forget about this one first. Right. Now we are going to find out the relation between that symbols, right? Now, how do you do that one? We'll see. Let's see. Right. Now we are going to find the relation between that F of and G of, right? So this one as we are going to find out. Right. How do you do that one as here? First, you have to uh, consider now we are having now that uh, dollar and the star symbol. And then you end up that one as dollar. Right? Here we are having now the dollar symbol. After the dollar symbol, it is the possible symbol we will get now. Right? After dollar. What's the terminal we are going to get now, right? So here, in that case, you see this one, a possibility from that E, what are the possible terminal we can get it now? So by this way, we are getting now E derives E plus T. So we are getting now that symbol is plus. We are getting now the symbol, the first symbol is plus, right? Next, if you are using now that E, and then E derives T, and T derives T star of, now, by this way, we are getting now that symbol is star. Right? If you are using now another possibility from that E, we can use second production rule and fourth production rule, D derives E of, and then we are having now that ID. So, by this way, we are getting now that uh, the symbol is ID. Right? Then another one, we are having E derives, T derives, F derives. And then we are having open bracket, E, close bracket. So, for after dollar, a possibility of the next symbol, either plus, after dollar, a possibility of next symbol here is star, after dollar, a possibility of next symbol is ID, after dollar, a possibility of next symbol is open bracket. So, these are the possible symbols, right? Now, here you are finding the relation between this dollar and the next symbol, right? So this dollar is in that in the tree one level. This is next level. The next level is having higher precedent. So in this way, we are getting now this dollar is having less precedent than this plus. By this way, we are getting now 
the dollar is having less precedent than star here we are getting now the dollar is having less precedent than id here we are getting now the dollar is having less precedent than open bracket right now this are, these are all the symbol so after dollar right so this is the dollar is f then this is g so for this case we have to fill that one as right so this is f this is g so the dollar and plus we have to put less than relation then this dollar this is star we have to put that relations less the dollar is f of then the star is g of then here we are having now this is f of this is g of okay right? so that one as here a dollar id then dollar and open bracket we are having this relation so now we have to build dollar and open bracket we have to build this one right so this is a way of building now here for that we can have one algorithm to find directly here this is we are expressing that all possible cases and we are finding now this is the actually we are going to find out this one but we can use that algorithm automatically it will find out the what is the next possible thing we can find out now how do you that one we can see now so for that we are having now we are going to find out leading entry so this is our case right next one as here up here the dollar the n dollar before that what is the symbol so before that e right so this is a dollar in that end also we are having a dollar for that that uh, previous symbol is plus so what relation we are getting now by this way plus is having higher precedent than the n dollar one by this key, here right so this is what is that this star end of the star and the previous symbol is this plus so we are finding this relation next one here if you are having the dollar at the end so the previous symbol is star so now here we are having star is having higher precedent than the next coming dollar then similarly here if you are having a dollar now this is id is the previous symbol so id is having higher precedent than this dollar next here the n dollar for that n dollar the previous symbol is close bracket so close bracket is having higher precedent than dollar so now here we are filling now the star the plus is having higher precedent than dollar then star is having higher precedent than dollar then id is having higher precedent than dollar then close bracket is having higher precedent than dollar right now this is the way we are finding now instead of that one we are having an algorithm to find leading and the trailing of all non terminal then we can use that rule for finding now right so this is the way now we'll go for how we are going to have as algorithm right we'll see that clear edal doubts irka here no sir anybody anybody no sir Ah, okay then we will continue now then how we are going to find out right so here i will save that one i will take this uh, symbol Yes, I'll take that also. Right. Now, here what is given? right now here how do you find out that one 
as we are having now that finding the leading and training of all non terminal so i will write it in capital letter the leading the leading and trailing trailing of all non terminal right now for that we are having an algorithm right first leading of all non terminal algorithm we we'll see leading right so leading is here you have to consider the production rule of the form a derives a a non terminal followed by a terminal then whatever the string of grammar symbol gamma is whatever the string of grammar symbol you can go for at any extent here first two should be a non terminal then followed by a terminal or otherwise we can have first uh, should be a terminal the followed by whatever the string of grammar symbol so string of grammar symbol we can have any length and we can have either terminal non terminal or something right next one as we are having now a derives a terminal itself next we can have now a derives a non terminal so these are the possible cases for operator grammar now here what do you mean by that one for this case the leading of a is for this case the leading of a uh, leading of the letter a is this a right for this pattern the leading of a is this terminal for this pattern the leading of a is this terminal now suppose we are having now that a derives then we are having a non terminal now you are the leading of a equal to leading of b if it is another non terminal then whatever that now for that non terminal what is leading then that also comes under so now you see this one in that production rule you are having now you have to call a is one non terminal so for that case you are having only for non terminal e we are having only two possible cases two possible production rule e derives e and e derives t so here what we are having now this this is the pattern now so now here you see first pattern matched so this is non terminal derive the non terminal then followed by a terminal then followed by whatever the string so by this way we are getting now that leading of e equal to plus so here leading of this e is equal to by first production rule we are getting now plus then by second production rule this is as like this one last one right so that is here e derives capital letter t so a yeah, non terminal derives another non terminal then we are having plus and leading of t so whatever if non terminal then that non terminal leading you have to include leading of b also so here leading up t not b leading up t so that t is there so you have to take now not b leading up t leading up t now leading up t right now you have to close so we only two production rules so we are going to close now similarly for the t right so we are having now the two production rule t derives t star f r f now for these cases we are having the same way right so here we are getting now that plus and leading of t similarly here for the leading of t equal to star and leading of f so what we are getting now by this production rule as t derives t star f and t derives f there also t derives f right so t derives f there also we are having the same pattern right so that is here we are having now a this is a if you are consider this is a then this is a a terminal then followed by car right so here we are having a derives p so by this way the leading of t equal to leading of t equal to t equal to star and leading of f star and leading of that f so we are having now this two now we consider for f we are having another two production rules for f we are having now another two production rule is this one right so that one where we are getting now the f is open bracket e close bracket is similar to this one 
this is matched right so that is f derives open bracket e close bracket now this is actually a derives a followed by whatever it is comma so whatever it is we are having now the comma this is written. so the by this way we are getting now open bracket so leading of f equal to open by the leading of f by this production rule we are getting now open bracket now that the f derives id f derives id is matched with this production this uh, pattern a derives yeah, right. So that F derives ID by this way, we are getting now the leading uh, leading is open bracket and ID. Now we have to backfill that one, right? So leading of F equal to open bracket and ID. So the leading of T equal to star and leading of F. So star, open bracket, and ID. Now the star and open bracket ID, you have to fill that one, right? So that is leading of E equal to plus, and for that leading of T is we are having here star open bracket and id so you have to do that one here plus star open bracket and id so these are all the leading of symbol right leading of that symbol next we are going to have the uh, trailing so the, the leading of that symbol and then we are going to have the trailing of that symbol is here the same way but you have to take this one as in the back side end right so that is a derives gamma whatever the previous one is comma the last but one symbol a the last symbol is any one of the non-terminal or otherwise we are having whatever the comma the last symbol is a terminal or we are having this non-terminal is terminal right so for this case this a is trailing this a is trailing right then we are having now that yeah, another one a derives b right so a derives b now for this case past three this three case trailing of a trailing of a is equal to a here we are having now trailing of a equal to trailing of b the same way as leading so you have to consider it from the back end trailing of a equal to trailing of b right so by this way what you will get now that one as the changes is only the close instead of that open bracket you have to consider the close bracket so now you see that in the same way you see that one the trailing of uh, e t f right so that is i directly write that one as trailing 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 of e equal to plus plus star close bracket and id then trailing of t trailing of t equal to star close bracket and id and trailing of f equal to Trailing of f equal to f equal to close bracket and id. Clear? If you want to have that, any explanation for this one? No. Anybody? No need. Ah, okay. Clear now? Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. Now we'll uh, we'll going to have that one directly that uh, leading and trailing, right? So now we'll see. Sir, ah, tell me. Sir, trailing of and the formula for the sir, trailing to fourth formula. Amma, amma. Alla trailing of a equal to a. For on the a, that that is another. And the center level a non terminal level put it come sir. Amma. Trailing of e can do put it come sir. Amma. Alla on the plus okay, star okay, and the close bracket ah. idea please sir, varo. That in the book e a le, that is another. 
ஆமா இங்க பாருங்க இதுல வந்து இந்த ஏடர் ஏடர் இஸ் காமா ஏ னு சொன்னானே ஆமா சார் சரிதா இந்த ஏடர் இஸ் காமா ஏ ல நம்ம எப்படி மேட்ச் ஆகுதுனா எப்டர் இஸ் எப்டர் இஸ் ஓபன் பிராக்கெட் ஈ க்ளோஸ் பிராக்கெட் ரைட் சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஏ த வாட் எவர் த ப்ரீவியஸ் இஸ் காமா சோ திஸ் இஸ் वी ஆர் ஹேவிங் நவ் திஸ் ஆ ட்ரெய்லிங் ஆஃப் ஈ அதுல எழுதிருக்கீங்களா சார் ட்ரெய்லிங் ஆஃப் ஈ ல ஆ ஆமா ஓகே ஸ்டார் ஓகே சார் ah, Ah. So this open bracket ID is back field here. Okay, sir. Oh, Then, okay, sir. Ah, yeah. the other one. Okay, sir. Yeah. By the E-T, we are yeah. back filling that one as star and open bracket ID. Correct? Okay, sir. Clear? Ah, clear, sir. Sir, for this uh, uh, A derives ah. gamma A, we should look at the last terminal character which occurs in that string, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. You have to fill. Uh, you have to match with that last one. As if it is a terminal, you have to use this pattern. But after the terminal, if not terminal comes also after that, if one terminal comes, we should consider that only as the terminal, whichever is the final terminal character. Ah, uh, yeah. For final terminal only that will uh, trail, right? Ah. Okay. If you have that comma is whatever it may be, it may be a uh, terminal or non-terminal sequence of terminal or non-terminal. gamma is a string of grammar symbol this string of grammar symbol may be like that right so we are having now a then we are having a something b this gamma then after that we are having one a clear got it sir so that is we are having gamma a is the gamma is a a b and so whatever the previous one is gamma that previous one gamma may be a terminal one more terminal also right so that is here the comma may be a b c also right now a b c followed by a here correct ah uh? at that time the end of the terminal only you have to take correct understood ah, sir okay now we'll go for this uh, we forget about that one mm-hmm. clear Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Now uh, you, you are having trailing, leading, and trailing. Then how we are going to fill the table? We will see. Correct? right now leading is this one and tra- leading is into escape mm. now sorry leading of a leading of e is plus star open bracket id leading up t leading of t is equal to star open bracket id then we are having now leading of f leading of f equal to open bracket and id clear now we are getting now the right so now how do you fill that one first step is right so first step one rela- one formula is we are having now using the dollar and the start symbol and dollar you take down whatever the start symbol then in between we are putting now the dollar and dollar right so that is a delimiter we are putting now now for this dollar what is the next coming symbol is 
the leading of E. So leading the previous year, right? So the dollar is having. Now this is come to the lower level. So we are having the rule we are getting now that one as dollar is having less relation than leading of E. Less relation than leading of E. This is one relation we are getting now. So this is F of. This is G of. Now we are having the relation is less than, right? So that one has the dollar is having less precedent than plus. So the leading up uh, E is this one. Leading up E is plus star open bracket ID. So we are getting now the dollar less than and then this dollar is less than star. This dollar is less than open bracket. The dollar is less than ID, right? So now we are having this relation we are feeling now, right? Dollar is less than this plus, right? Into that one, into that. right? So this is we are feeling now. This is we are feeling now. This is we are feeling now. This one, right? So this one as these are all the relation. So we are feeling now. This is the this row is feeling now, right? Now we are getting that another relation is this end of the dollar. What is the previous symbol is a trailing of e. So we are getting now the relation is trailing of E is having higher precedent than this dollar. So because this E is going to be expanded, now the trailing uh, edges we are getting now one symbol. That symbol is the previous symbol for this dollar. So the previous symbol is in the next level. The next level is having higher precedent. So we are getting now that one trailing of E is having higher precedent than dollar. So you take this as dollar, right? So this is F of, this is G of. So now we are getting now E plus star ID and close bracket star ID and close bracket we are getting now as star ID and close bracket for that case we are getting now the less than symbol dollar dollar right then here we are having now the dollar then here we are having now the dollar so this is the relation we are getting now so that one as we are filling now this two uh, these cases are filling now. You take this dollar as column and you have to fill that one. So this column is filling now. Right? We are filling the column using that, right? Now by this way, we are getting now, right? Next, what actually we have to do is we have to consider the terminal and non-terminal combination only on the right hand side of production rule. You take. So that is here. Uh, where, where is that one as here e plus t so terminal and non-terminal combination is there on the right hand side of the production rule similarly the terminal non-terminal combination t star f you take that one and then we are having terminal non-terminal combination is this one open bracket e close bracket so you have to consider only the three cases so e the e plus t you forget about the left hand side just you have to consider the right hand side with the terminal and non terminal combination. So you are taking now E plus T and we are taking now that T star F and we are taking now that one as open bracket E close bracket. We have to take that one. Right now in that E plus T, if you are taking now this E plus T, now you concentrate on that the terminal E plus T. For this plus, what is the previous symbol is the back end of that E. So the trailing of E. Trailing of E is having higher precedent than this plus one relation we are getting now. Similarly, then after plus, we are having one symbol that is leading of T. So what you are getting now for this plus, the next coming symbol is having higher precedent that is leading of T leading of t next is symbol for this plus right so now we are getting now this is one relation one set of relation this is another set of relation right here you have to take as this is f of this is g of now this this g plus you take this as g, g of, of plus less than leading 
plus uh, less than leading team. Okay, uh, plus less than leading team means here you see this one. This is a plus, right? Now the T is going to expand it here in the next level for that plus in the tree. Correct? Yeah. Here for that plus, if you are having this E plus T. Now for the T, we can expand that one as T star F, suppose. Right? Now this plus is in that tree level. This is on the next level of the tree. The next, uh, if level is going to down, that is having higher precedent. Uh, right? Is. Yeah. So this plus is having higher, uh, less precedent than this star. So what do you mean by that one? As you have to complete this star, then only you have to go for plus. So priority is given to the star. Correct? Huh. Clear? After plus, the symbol is going to come in the next level, the sim possible symbols are leading up T. So that is going to have the next uh, in lower level. So that is having higher precedent. So the, this plus is having less precedent than leading up T. So you, have, you are filling now that one as this for this plus, first case, right? F of G of. For this plus, you have to fill that one, the trailing of E. The trailing of E is the previous plus, then star, and the ID, and close bracket. Right? So that is the trailing of E. We are taking out the trailing of E. Now we are filling this one with here. This all operator we are filling now. Right? Then here you take this one as, the, this plus is F of, this leading of T is G of. So now you have to take that row wise, this plus, f of that plus, and g of is here. So this id is having higher precedent, then this id, uh, the star id and open bracket is having higher precedent, we are building now. Clear? Purida? Ha, yes, sir. Okay, now we are filling now, that one is filling now. Next, you are going to fill that t star f, right? So now you, uh, the same one, you have to split that one, right? So for that case, we consider now T derives T star F, right? So that one is T star F for the star, the previous symbol. So that previous symbol is trailing of T. Trailing of T is having higher precedent than the next coming star, right? This is one rule. Now for the star, the next coming symbol is leading of F. That is having this star is less precedent than leading of F. Leading of F. Leading of F. So now we are getting now this is F of this is F of this is G of. So you take the G star. So this star you take. You have to fill the column. Right now, the trailing of T, trailing of T is previous star, then ID and the close bracket. So that is we are having now. The trailing of T is here. You have to fill that column. Right next, we are having now the another rule. Here we are having this is F of this is G of. So you take that row wise the star, and we have to fill the leading of F. The leading of F is ID and open bracket. So that one is here. ID and open bracket, id and open bracket, clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Id and open bracket, ah. Tell me. Clear, sir. Yes, sir, ah, clear. Okay. okay, t derives f is over. Then we have to take now this one as, right? So here, the next one as open bracket e, close bracket e, right? So that is in the same way as here. The dollar E dollar, right? So that is here. Instead of dollar, we are having open bracket and E. So now you are having the relation is open bracket is having less precedent than leading of E. Leading of E. Right? Then we are having now the trailing of E is having trailing of E. Trailing of E is having higher precedent than this close bracket, this rule, right? So that one, trailing of E is having higher precedent than this close bracket, right? So now you take that one, this open bracket you take. 
open bracket you take now f this is g so you take that row wise right this open bracket so in that open bracket you have to fill that one as this is plus is having higher percent this is uh, we are having now that relation id and previous open bracket similarly you take that one as this close bracket now we have to fill that one whatever the dollar we are having that relations so in the dollar what we are having the same relation we are getting now this one right next we are having the, the f of open bracket and g of open bracket right? so that is we are getting now uh, this both are same level so this open bracket and close bracket in between we are having equal relation so f of open bracket and g of close bracket we are having now equal precedent in that place we have to fill equal precedent and a dollar and a dollar also giving same level we are having equal precedent right so wherever we are having that unfilled portion is called error portion so that one as here you take this as error this is error this is error this is error and this also error this is error right clear yes sir. right right we can stop here so we are having now that uh, this is the way of finding the relation between each terminal for operator presence passing right by next coming classes we see that one how we are using that um, relation for doing the sip reduce passing then we are constructing the operator present parsing table using the precedence relation. Correct? Yes. Clear? Oh. Shall okay, we wind sir. up? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, for... you can ask now. Thank you for teaching again, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll see by regular classes okay good night good night sir good night sir good night, good night.